take this little thing and I'm going to actually take, bring it Friday night and I'm going to grab the artist and I'm going to go over to them and say, hey, tell me about your piece. Oh, cool. And, uh, oh, and um, this is high def. So oh, um, cool. we, Who we need something like that? Well, my I wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, it will uh, actually be available um, uh, for putting online uh, afterwards. felt strongly about so okay. I mean there were four that I mean if you do honorable mentions yeah so you would say yeah. honorable mentions yeah. okay because they were really in the running I love this painting um, I just think it's wonderfully done it's so light it's so um, I don't know it's like they captured a moment and I also like the way it's presented the frame just beautifully goes with the piece um, a lot to say about it, but Great. I thought it was worthy. This is an honorable mention. Um, I think it's wonderful. All the different textures and the um, everything. I just wish it worked. I guess that was the only thing that kind of held me back is I kind of tried it. And it didn't move. I don't know if it's supposed to or not, but it, if it worked, this would just be amazing. And um, I, I like the fact that almost his best work is kind of hidden inside this egg. It's like such a detailed uh, little tiny painting that you realize this, this person really has the ability to draw and paint and be, you know, it's wonderfully creative. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. And then this one I chose for an honorable mention mostly because of the whole content of it. I love the, um, the here's down in the corner very subtly, you almost didn't see her, it's like the mom holding this dollhouse, and this to me looks like her um, special little memories of her children that she's captured. The more I looked at it, just the more I saw, and it's almost like, you know, they're getting ready to run off, and, and the birds, um, they're ready to go away and, and grow up, but she's kind of keeping them in her little house, and I just love that idea. Um, this photograph over here. This is just so intriguing. I, I don't know how this person took the photo. It just it keeps your eye moving from up to down and trying to figure out where's the center and how did he do it. And it's clear. And then you see the photographer himself in the picture with the shadow. Um, it's just, I just really like it. On this piece, I just, I love the way the artist created a sense of space in this painting. The figure is right in front of you, but he's not confrontational. He's kind of distracted. He's looking at something, and you're kind of wondering, what is he looking at? What is he thinking? Um, what, what's really going on here? Um, I like the posture and the tilt of his head. The background is really interesting, but you, it's not really defined. Um, but then it doesn't really need to be, because he's what's important here. Um, I love the looseness and the, the way the paint is handled, that some of it looks really solid, but some of it's kind of transparent. And I also like the palette, which is um, muted, but it's still, it's got some rich colors in it, even though it's, it's kind of muted and almost monochromatic. One of the things when I do when I'm judging a show is 
kind of go for that gut reaction when I walk in the room, what, what grabs me right away, and then I look at everything else, but then I come back to the ones that grab me, and this one just grabbed me when I walked in the door. This, I love all the different contrasts. You've got young and old. You've got hard and soft. You've got um, transparent and solid. Um, you've got light and dark, and bright colors and, and dull colors. And um, there's just, there's so much contrast here. And there looks like there's a story here too, but you don't quite know, it, you know, if she's um, thinking about uh, her grandfather's car or Maybe she had her first date in this car. You don't really know what, what the story is, but it makes you wonder, it makes you think about it. I also like the looseness of the, the background. It's not just filled in. It's, there's a, a suggestion of space back there. And the way the artist has even brought the colors of the skin tone into the background. I, just, I think this is a wonderful painting in every way. I love the fact that it's it, to me, this talks about time, um, the presence of time, the passage of time. They've used an old painting technique to create a portrait, but it's yet a modern painting because in the old portraits, you don't see things like this going on. Um, and you wonder, you know, is this really a child sitting for a portrait, or have we caught a child sitting in the naughty chair? Because, you know, did they paint on the walls, or did, did she do something bad? And you think she's been there a really long time because um, there's the, the numbers on the wall, like she's counting time or counting minutes. The, she's lost interest in her cracker and the mouse is now eating it. It just, it makes you think about time and, um, you know, time passing. So I like that it's not just about, you know, not just the time itself that you see represented, but the fact that she used an old time technique in a modern painting. So that speaks of time. Um, uh, what else was I going to say? Also, oh, I love the face. Just the look on her face. There's like a hint of almost a smirk there. Like, you know, she's really, she might be sitting in that chair, but she knows something or she's got something in her head that she's going to do or think. And plus, uh, just the overall presentation, the way this frame it just goes so beautifully with the work. I like that too. Let's see. That's it. My name is Dawn Wolford Metello, and I'm here today from Quad City Arts in Rock Island, Illinois. I'm the gallery director there, and I've been there for eight years. My background is I have an MFA in sculpture with um, my emphasis is handmade paper. So um, I've done quite a few jurying of shows and I immediately when I walked in I was blown away. The quality of the show is just outstanding. Um, I, a lot of shows you see a real gamut from beginners to obviously more professional artists but the show I think is really overall very high quality.